Hi, this is Aurora from SuperchargedMath.com. Now, if you're having a hard time with math, you're in the right place because this is where we take the challenging um, math concepts and we make them easy. So if you want to learn math the easy way, just visit SuperchargedMath.com. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's get to it. You guys ready? Okay, so here we go. Percent session number seven. Doesn't it seem like we just started percent? Anybody else feeling that way? All right, so percentage, this is the official definition. It's another way of writing a fraction where the denominator is 100. Okay, so we use our percent sign to indicate percent. So this is just a basic review. You should already know this, yes? Good, write me the fraction, decimal, and percent of this picture. Can you do that really quick? Well, I get my, how many, how many squares do you count in there? Somebody's asking how many total. There's 100 total, it's a 10 by 10. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Did you guys count all the grades yet? The gray, not grades, gray. Did you get one, two, three, four full rows of 10? That makes a four in the tens place. And I have an eight in the ones. So I have 48 gray blocks, 52 white ones. Okay, fraction would be 48 out of 100. Decimal, you should have written 0.48. And what did you write for percent? Ooh, I see a lot of people writing percent. Okay, good, 48%, okay? And remember, if the decimal is 100, you just rip off the top and put the percent sign next to it. Good, good, good. All right, you ready for these? Let's go ahead and pop those in. To convert a decimal to a percent, you bump the decimal uh, place over two hops, okay, this direction, and then you just write the number, two, one. And then the percent symbol is here, but you can also write it like that. Okay. The second one, 32 over 100. You just rip off the top and write 32. Okay. If you want to write the percent sign, you can, or I've done it for you. Okay, 32. Smile if this is like, oh, this is too easy. Please, Aurora, this is, this, I got this part. I got this. Okay, this, this is stuff we covered in the very first session. Now, before we move on to the next example, I just want to share something for parents who see their child as being overwhelmed with math, but they're not quite sure what to do about it. Now, in the video that we're watching right now, your child is learning math in a much more natural way that fits with how they think. And if this is working for them so far, I'd like to invite both you and your child to join me for a free online class that they can learn math like this, just like we're doing in the video. To register to the, for this class at no charge, just click the link below in the descriptions or it's also in the comments, or you can simply go to getmath.net slash class. Getmath.net slash class. All right, let's continue. Let's take a look at this. If I say 86%, can you give me the decimal and also the fraction? So the decimal, I'm just going to take the decimal. Remember how I moved it two spaces this way? I'm going to move it because here's the decimal point. Okay, always to the right of a whole number. I'm going to move it two that way. So this one is 0 0.86 or 86 hundredths. All right, give me a smile if this is going good so far. If you're feeling good about this, give me a smile. Okay, if we calculate 40% off, that means we don't have to pay 40% of this price. So that's not what we pay. What this is actually saying is we have to pay 60%. The new price is 60% of $300. So the question is, what is 60% of $300? That's the question we're asking. So we took a picture and we are writing a statement about what we want to know. Because math problems rarely walk down the street looking like this. Like this just doesn't happen. So what you have to do is you have to take the real world and think about, okay, I got this. This is something you'll see when you go to just about any store, right? You'll see some amount off. But this is the question we're asking. So what does that mean? That means that we, if we ask a question like this, we can solve it too. So what's the what part? So here, let me, I might need that room for calculation. Okay, so what is, what is X is, that's the equal sign. How do you write 60% as a decimal? Anyone? 60% as a decimal. Yeah, so we're gonna take the decimal point and go over two hops here. So it's 0 0.60 of is multiply. 300, you just write it down. Now, get your calculators. What is 0.6 times 300? 
Okay, I've got mine. You should be having yours too. Okay. So I have 0.6 times 300. Make sure you get the same answer as me. How'd you do? Okay, is that the amount that is off or is that the amount we pay? What did we do? Do you remember? We calculated 60. Why did we calculate 60? Because 40%, if this 300 is 100%, but 40% off, 100 minus 40 is 60%. So that's what we wanna calculate. This is how much we, this is we save, we don't spend, right? This is the uh, original price. So this is how much we have to pay. So that's the new price, which is $180. Not 180%, somebody wrote that. It should be $180. Good, yay, yay, yay. All right, I went over that nice and slow to kind of start the hamster wheel of, in our brains to, <laughs> to start getting oriented with these problems, good? Okay, now is your child overwhelmed and frustrated with learning decimals? If so, I think I can help. See, I teach math to kids in a way that flows naturally with how they learn, so they find it way easier and even have fun with it. Now, if your kids have struggled with decimals before, I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for a free online class where they will learn more math just like they did in this video. You can register at no charge simply by going to getmath.net slash class.